Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. So today we're gonna be making some DIY notebooks or sketchbooks, journals, whatever you use. To make this, you will need the following. One sheet of scrapbook paper, one sheet of cardstock or thick paper, some lined or blank papers, some cutting tools, this could be a scissor or paper cutter, some thread or string and a needle, and some decorative materials, um, it could be whatever you would like. So step one, the cover. You can use um, any scrapbook paper, thicker paper, you could decorate it too. I just used this green um, cardstock, it folded it in half. In case you don't fold it perfectly, here I marked where the extra was. And then I'm going to take a paper cutter or a scissor and just cut off that extra part. And perfection. Look at that. Also, this is based on preference, but if you prefer your journals to have rounded corners, um, just mark it with a pencil and then just cut it with the scissor. Totally optional, I just wanted mine to be a little, a little extra. All right, so step two, the inside sheets. Take your blank pieces of paper or lined paper of preference. And what you're gonna do, you can either do this individually or stack them together depending on how thick the paper is and fold them in half just like we did with our cover. Alright, so once the paper is folded, you can group them together if they're not already. And then similar to step one, what we're going to do, put the paper inside of the cover and then mark where any excess paper is. And then once you have that marked, we're going to take the paper cutter, scissor, and just take that little bit off. Okay, so now this part is completely optional, but to add some pizzazz, I'm making a little rectangle insert to the cover. So, you could be more exact and measure it with a ruler. What I did was take the scrapbook paper and use the journal itself to measure out the rectangle. And then I used a paper cutter to make it more exact. Again, totally optional. I just wanted to add some pizzazz. And after I cut out the rectangle, I'm gonna fold it over a journal just to add some fun. So step three, the binding. You're gonna open your journal up so that all the pages lay flat. You're gonna use pencil to mark the top, middle, and bottom. For the top and bottom, make sure to mark the points about half an inch away from the edge of the paper. Next, using a needle, poke holes through the points. After you make the holes, thread your needle. It helps to use thicker string to make sure your paper will be secure and so that the thread will not break.
Once ready, thread your needle through the middle and that scrapbook paper that we used for decoration. And then pull all the way so that the knot at the end of your string sits on top of the point. Next, you're gonna pull the needle through the top point and back into the middle. Be sure to pull tight to secure. And then you're gonna pull the needle into the bottom point and then back into the middle, pulling the string tight again. Now to finish securing the binding, you will tie a knot. I recommend double knotting to be safe. Step four, decorations. You could cut off the excess and be done here, but I wanted to decorate mine a little more. So I kept the excess thread and added some beads to the end. To do this, you could either thread the beads one by one, like I started to do in this clip here, or don't take the needle off your thread and instead use it to make life a little easier and add the beads with it. I don't know why it took me so long to realize there was a more efficient way already in front of me, but it really be like that sometimes. So this is when I switched over to the needle method. Simply add your beads to the needle and pull them down to meet the first knot you made. The needle adds much welcomed stability. Once you feel like you've added a satisfactory amount of beads, tie the end to finish. So this part is totally optional, but I split my string here to have two strands of beads. But again, this is your notebook, so feel free to decorate it however you would like to. And that's it, you've just made your own notebook. Now that we have a lot more time at home, we're given more of an opportunity to be with ourselves and our thoughts. So why not use this notebook to reflect, sketch, jot down whatever you'd like to fill this little book with. I feel like using something handmade makes it even more meaningful. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you tried it out or are planning to, let me know in the comments below what you'll be filling your notebook with. Feel free to subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.